come on in. Of course we can have a girls night in. All I'm doing is just painting my nails and watching some Netflix. So get comfortable. What do you mean what's my name? You did not just come over here and forget my name. My name is Amanda and welcome to my channel. This is the girls night in the Dirty Dozen project pan update. I am doing this with Jessica and we picked 12 items that we are linking to classic movies. The black and white old stand the test of time movies. Just like our friendship, it's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you my empties and I'm, then I'm going to show you what I'm working on and the ones that I haven't touched yet, we're not going to even talk about those. We'll talk about those at a later time. So the empties that I have, this first one right here is the verb ghost oil and this was for the movie House on Haunted Hill and I did like this but to me this was just a normal hair oil. I don't think that it was worth the price, but I did finish it. The next movie is Some Like It Hot, and I chose the Revlon Kiss Exfoliating Balm, and it is completely done. As you can see, that's the plastic, so that is done, and I did like this, but I like the e.l.f. one better, but I did like this one. For Pinocchio, I chose this Darling Girl eyeshadow, and this one is in Lullaby, and what I did was I pressed it in my Naked palette, and it is gone. It was this one right here, so that is completely done. Now for the ones that I am working on, I'm just going to go right back into this palette, and for the movie Incredible Mr. Limpet, I chose this Darling Girl shade, and it's called officially and it is this one right here I did have to repress it because it was along the side so I'm pretty confident that this is going to be gone by the next update this is one of the spectral shifts so that's always nice and this one right here I have been working on some and this one is called Mer Lady. That is for the movie The Little Mermaid. The next one is for the movie Star Wars and I'm going into my Dose of Colors Marvelous Moths palette and I chose the shade Spaced Out and obviously as you can see I did go ahead and expand the pan on that so I'm getting somewhere. I didn't realize that I made that big of a difference until I had to check out my last update. Oh, and I do have another empty. I'm a moron. This is for Monty Python and the Holy Grail because this is a Holy Grail item. This is the verb leave in mist and I finished it and I love it. I love it. I really wish that the pump was better because at some point you have to actually remove it and then just go ahead and put it in your hand and that's a little bit annoying but this product is so good that it's worth it. Now the last item I have is from the 2001 Space Odyssey and for that I went into my Urban Decay Moon Dust palette and I chose the shade Galaxy and that's what that looks like right there. That's all I have left. I did have to repress it a couple of times so I'm pretty confident that by the next update this is going to be gone so I'm really happy. I'm ready for this palette to go bye bye. So. I'm really trying to plug away at this one. So that's my update. I'm so glad that you decided to stop by and have a girls night in with me and Jessica. Be sure to go ahead and go check next door and hang out with Jessica and see what she's doing. She'll be linked in the description box below and yeah so I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!